So now we are ready for the second fight of the night. My friends, I will be here with you for two more fights. So the first fight was Dmitry Kavrizhin from Russia. Very important to know that Medica Region is a lefty. Medica Region is a lefty. Yes, and so. It's uh, for, for, for any kind of unexperienced fighter, the left hand fighter is a disaster. Yes. Uh, it's a disaster when two left, uh, lefties are meeting on the list and they don't know what to do. As a fighter, I can tell you, it's always very uncomfortable to fight versus a lefty. And we welcome his opponent, Maciej Januszewski from Poland. Yanishevsky participated in Battle of Nations in Italy 2018 in uh, the MFC uh, light category and as far as I remember he took the third place. If I'm right. Yes, I bet you're right, Ilya. So we have again two very experienced fighters on the list. And by the way, I have another interesting fact. So a lot of people asking me, like, Ivan, uh, there are a lot of fighters, they have all these kind of shiny armor and helmets and everything, where they can get this uh, equipment. So uh, you can get it from such people as uh, Dmitry Kovrizhin, because he is a blacksmith, actually. So he is making this equipment by himself. Yes, Smith is also producing armor. And he is actually quite famous also in producing armor. So the, these people are actually very respected in the community. As, as their creations are like saving your health. Yeah, I just got an approval. Uh, Maciej Januszewski has won the third place on Battle of Nations WMFC in uh, light category. So the second fight is almost already, already to begin. Actually there is some tension between the fights. I can sense it from here. <laughs> yeah, Martin Inishevsky is in uh, white coat armor, white shield with, uh, uh, I think it's a griffon on it. And Medieval Vision wears band coat eyes, yellow and red. So again, two fighters are wearing different type of shields and uh, this really affects the technique. With the smaller shield, uh, you are much quicker, you can land uh, a lot of strikes with it, but the larger shield provides better protection. Yeah, the small shield is also very comfortable when you wrestle. So as usual, fighters in the first round trying to know each other. 
I haven't seen yet any clinch work. It's more about fencing. Yeah, both, both fighters prefer this long distance fight. Nobody's getting in the clinch. Nobody's trying to make some takedowns. So. Yeah, like Maciej is actually a very interesting yeah. fighter. I've seen several times fighting between. But I think it's the first time I'm looking at fights of uh, Maciej. And it, he, he looks very well, actually. Let's see if fighters can keep the tempo of the rounds. Yes, about the tempo. I, I would like to ask you, Ilya, you are a fighter. What kind of training you undergo to maintain your physique? Maybe some secrets or something? Well, there are no secrets. Uh, actually, mostly we are watching YouTube, what Sergio Golov is showing, and we are trying to reproduce it. So, uh, it's, it's uh, important maybe to know that uh, when you prepare for a boot, uh, tournament or Bugut fight, there's uh, one way of training session you are doing. If you're preparing for a pro fight, it's completely another. So we don't need any fencing in Bugut. And when you're preparing for pro fights, you need fencing, you need wrestling, and also different kind of wrestling because you might uh, make a takedown with your opponent landing on the ground, but still you have space to make this 10 seconds finishing moves. Yeah, but with the development of the pro, pro fights, uh, there is a really in interesting tendency that uh, a lot of fighters, both from Bugurt and from the uh, dual fencing, are coming into the pro fights. And we get this interesting mix of different type of techniques. Somebody relies on his fencing skills, somebody relies on wrestlers and uh, his physique. Yeah, and the tricky thing that actually fighters know each other. And for example, if, if I meet a fencer, I'm trying to clinch him and work, work in a in a more wrestling mode. If I meet a Bugut fighter, then it's always tricky how good he is in wrestling. Then it's up to your fencing skills. Yeah, but your opponent do the same probably. So <laughs> exactly, I have a very interesting opponent tonight with a pole arm. So we, we see supporters actually giving an additional instructions for the fighters. Yanishevsky has a very good support. It's Lukasz Koval from Great Britain. He's actually originally from Poland, but he lives in Great Britain. He's the captain of the Team White Company. And as far as I know, he was, or he is, the captain of the United Kingdom national team. Very experienced fighter. He also was very successful at Battle of Nations in WMFC fights, but in middleweight. Yeah, Lukas Kohl, yes, but I think at the moment he has some uh, annoying injury of his hand. Uh, he got a trauma in France. Yeah, yeah, so unfortunately he's, he's, a, he's a bit on the pause now for the fights. But I think it's a, it's a big advantage for Marcin that he has that kind of experienced fighter as a support. So the technical team are fixing the list. The list have a actually unique construction because it has to withstand a lot of weight of the fighters. Yeah, by the way, it's, fighters are not allowed to hold the list when, when they are clinching. Yeah, anyway, but when you have more than uh, 200 kilos just pushing these chains, still sometimes it's a bit frightening. Uh, we will have a total over 200 kilos tonight when we will see our uh, really heavy guys fighting. But I bet at the moment, with the weight of the armor, the fighters also weight about 100 kilos. Yeah, each. Still fencing. Still fencing and no, uh, no wrestling. Yeah, that, it was a very good combo from Machin. A back strike to the leg and then a shield punch. And now he tries to do it again. But I think Nishi already catch this. 
again one of the signs of the experienced fighter how how quickly actually you learn your opponents how quickly you can figure out what he's going to do Mitchell is extremely extremely experienced guy I think it's very hard to surprise him in the fight with some kind of things you prepared at home So fighters are still very careful, very careful, they are saving their strength, maybe for the final round. Yeah, I don't believe they are already tired, so they were quite quick in, in the first round. But now still, uh, now, now it's about seven combinations to your, to your opponent. But still you have to remember that you, you have a weapon that weighs about uh, 1.5, 2 kilos and uh, the shield which weighs also about 2, 2.5 kilos. So just holding the, these weights for the uh, duration of the rounds is also a bit exhausting and you still have a lot a lot of moves with these uh, both uh, weapon and your shield you have to move otherwise the judges will consider that you are idle and uh, will get a the issue po po penalty for this so the second round is out <laughs> What do you think? I, I think still both of the fighters save their strengths for the uh, final round. I think they both understand that uh, it will be the deciding round. Yeah, I agree. They, for me, they, they look some, some kind of equal for now. We haven't seen any takedowns, we haven't seen any uh, uh, wrestling. It's pure fencing. And for the fencing, the matter of speed and how much uh, strikes you can land. It's uh, like it's a det det will determine the result of the fight, and I bet for the third round they will put all their efforts. So first round will start in 10 seconds. Looks like people here will do like more wrestling and nice takedowns. Because they, they they meet that that kind of situations with uh, a lot of noise and applause. So on me is going forward, and he's he's all the power. He saved two rounds. So you can see the uh, speed and the strength of these two fighters. Yeah, this is this is Mijay whom whom I have seen fighting, for example, this summer. Oh, so we, we have uh, part of the armor is loose on the Yanishevsky, therefore uh, his opponent Kavrizian gets additional three points. He has 30 seconds to reply, but I don't see anybody doing anything there. It is really important to check here the conditions of your equipment uh, and your weapon before you go to the list. Because sometimes uh, these three points will determine the result of the fight and it will be very, uh, very upset for the fighter. Oh, and here we are, Lucas Cowan, who will try to repair it. One minute is out. 
So referee Van Vasilev is checking is the equipment is really checked up and, re and repaired. So Dmitry is pushing forward and acting as number one on this fight. And Yanushevsky is, uh, has chosen more search of counter-attacking. I don't see fighters have slowed down at all compared to the first round. They're moving in the same speed. Again, this is a distinctive mark of the uh, dual fighters. They always rely on their fencing. At, at some situations, the fencing is less exhausting actually than wrestling. So yes. when you wrestle, you spend much more uh, of your strength. But it also depends if you're a wrestler or fencer. <laughs> Still no wrestling. Yeah, still, the fatigue takes on a bit slower. A very good strike to that. Very powerful. Ten seconds left. So, in your prognosis, what do you think, Ilya? We have a chance to see a fourth round. So, begin the fourth round. Mitri showed a very good performance. But at the end, I think Inishevsky looked much better. I can agree with you, but we're waiting for the decision of the judges. So the difference in score is quite small, 45 to 42, Dmitry Garrison won this fight. And another fight with a very, very small difference between the points. This actually shows how strong the opponents are. I hope they didn't mix it up this time. <laughs> yeah, let's hope. 